There is a cliff going to happen, and it's happening in most engineering organisations, that in you know, about 10 years' time, there's going to be a big cliff. Um, and, uh, and at that point, you know, I think we're going to see it you know, quite dramatically. Um, and uh, we are beginning to see it. In Siemens, we're actually only seeing it in some quite specific engineering fields. Power electronics would be one, for example. Um, um, you know, particularly also this area of software, you know, where software sort of meets industrial engineering. And I think actually there's going to have to be almost be some, some new, you know, engineering subjects emerge as we go forward that sort of ma match that industrial and software engineering going forward. So we're seeing it in just a few areas uh, at the moment, but uh, we're crystal clear um, that it's going to be a bigger problem. And so, you know, we're right behind, you know, the government and we're very supportive of all of the apprenticeship activities as our Rolls-Royce, as our BA system, as our National Grid, who I've heard a few people, you know, BP, Shell, you know, so there's a whole lot of, you know, British companies that really get it. And I'm quite enthused that, you know, we're starting to get our act together. You know, will we solve it completely? You know, will we get the, I think we're saying that we need about two million engineers over the next 10 years. Will we get up to that number? Probably not. Um, and therefore, you know, some of the answer will, of course, you know, lie in migration, um, you know, particularly from within the EU but also overseas, you know, and then we of course get into all this wonderful uh, migration topic and all of that, but I suggest we probably not get there today. <laughs> Let's not get on to that, but uh, I think we, we have to look at the tremendous sense of momentum coming from industry to, to try to play a part in finding the solutions.